Here we have uh, one of William Herschel's notebooks. Um, the RAS archive holds the papers of William, his sister Caroline and his son John, um, who all in their own way made significant contributions to, to the study of astronomy. Uh, William was actually the first president of the society. Um, he was the first titular president in 1820 when the society was founded. Um, and although he didn't live long after that, his son John was very heavily involved and his sister Caroline was, was made an honorary fellow um, of the society. Uh, William Herschel's obviously rightly famous for making his own telescopes, uh, one of which the 20 foot features on the, on the logo of the Royal Astronomical Society. Earlier than that, with one of his smaller telescopes, um, he's probably most famous for discovering the planet Uranus, uh, which he did while he was uh, looking for double stars. Um, and this was in March 1781. Uh, and in the notebook you can see here is actually his sort of rough notebook where he, he made all his observations as they, as they happened. Here you can actually see the moment on Tuesday the 13th of March 1781 where Herschel recorded the discovery in the notebook. Um, and he records how he looked at the region around the star Pollux and noticed, um, I quote, a curious either nebulous star or perhaps a comet. So this was while he was working in, in Bath. Uh, when he reported the object to, to others, um, further observations um, determined the fact that this was actually a new planet. As well as his uh, rough notebooks, if you like, um, Herschel kept a very organised archive and he also had um, neater notebooks where he, which he organised thematically. So the closed notebook that you can see here, entitled The Georgian Planet, um, which was what Herschel hoped to call the, the, his new discovery in honour of the monarch George III, um, obviously later became known as Uranus. Um, but Herschel's discovery made him famous. Uh, he received the, the Copley Medal, he was elected to the Royal Society and he was appointed the King's Astronomer by George III.